Unit Seven. Pollution. Page six. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Your home village is so beautiful. There are so many trees, flowers, and birds. Yes, that's why I like coming back here on holiday. Me? What's that factory? It looks new. I don't know. There wasn't a factory here last year. Me? Look at the lake. Its water is almost black. Let's go closer. I can't believe my eyes. The fish are dead. I think the waste from the factory has polluted the lake. The fish have died because of the polluted water. That's right. If the factory continues dumping poison into the lake, all the fish and other aquatic animals will die. True. Bless you. What's the matter? Thanks. True. I think there's air pollution here as well. If the air wasn't dirty, I wouldn't sneeze so much. True. I've come up with an idea about our environmental project. How about giving a presentation about water and air pollution? That's a good idea. Let's take some pictures of the factory and the lake to illustrate our presentation. Achoo! Unit seven. Page nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen and mark the stress in each word. Then repeat it. One, artistic. Two, athletic. Three, historic. Four, historical. Five, logical. Six, physical. Seven, heroic. Eight, poetic. Nine, botanic. Ten. Botanical. Unit seven. Page nine. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Underline the words ending in ik. And circle the words ending in al in the following sentences. Mark the stress in each word. Listen and check your answers. Then repeat the sentences. One, according to scientific research, tiny species may help clean radioactive pollution. Two. Water quality. Has become a national problem. Three. Many people have received medical treatment because of the disease. Four. Chemical waste can cause water pollution. Five. The reduction in air pollution was dramatic last year. Unit seven. Page eleven. Communication. Activity three. Now, listen to a short presentation about noise pollution. How many correct answers have you got? Noise is constant and loud sound. To measure the loudness or volume of sounds, 
people use a unit called a decibel. When a sound is louder than 70 decibels, it can cause noise pollution. Do you know that the noise from a vacuum cleaner or a motorcycle can result in permanent hearing loss after eight hours? The sounds of a concert are even more serious. They can reach as high as 130 decibels and may cause immediate and permanent hearing loss. Noise pollution can also lead to headaches and high blood pressure. If you are listening to music through headphones and other people can hear it, it means the music is too loud and unsafe. If there seems to be a ringing or buzzing in your ears, it means the noise is affecting you and damaging your hearing. Wearing earplugs when you go to concerts or other loud events and listening to music through headphones or headsets at safe levels can help you reduce the effects of noise pollution. Unit 7 Page 13 Skills 2 Activity 1 Describe what you see in the pictures and talk about the relationship between them. Listen and check your answers. The first picture shows an algal bloom in coastal seawater. The second picture shows the cooling towers from a power station. They are both related to thermal pollution. Unit 7 Page 13 Skills 2 Activity 2 Listen to part of a conversation on TV between a reporter and an environmentalist about thermal pollution. Complete the diagram. Use no more than three words for each blank. Does thermal pollution mean that bodies of water get hotter, Mr Nam? Not always. Sometimes the water becomes colder, and that's also thermal pollution. In general, thermal pollution means a change in the water temperature. That's interesting. What causes it? Power stations are one factor. They use water in the nearby lakes or rivers to cool their equipment, which heats up the water. Then, they dump the hot water back into its source. Are there any other causes? Yes. Thermal pollution may also happen due to the discharge of cold water from reservoirs into warm rivers. Thermal pollution can have dramatic effects, right? Certainly. Most aquatic creatures need a certain temperature to survive. Warmer water has less oxygen in it, and this can harm fish populations. Besides, warmer water can cause harmful algal blooms. This can change the colour of the water, like in the first picture, and more seriously, the algae poisons the fish. What can we do, Mr Nam? In many places, they build cooling towers, like in the second picture, to cool down the water from the power stations. Anything else we can do?